Hello, this is Pamela, the Stampin' Pink Rose, and we're doing another card fold today. And it's a little different than our normal fold. Normally we fold a card going this direction, but instead I've got it folded this way. But what I wanted to show you was I made a swinging Santa. And I think he's kind of cute. So this is what he looks like. And I think it's this is Christmas out of the regular catalog on that paper. And then it's Garden Green. Okay. And I use the Christmas. I lost that set. There it is. I use the Christmas, the cookie cutter Christmas stamp set. And I've already used the reindeer, uh, the gingerbread, and the bear. I used the bear the other day. And now I'm using the Santa. So... We've got that. We also have our layering circles, and the largest circle is three. And I'm going to hold this down again one more time because I'm having camera problems to make sure you do see this. This is him. And what we're going to do is I've cut the paper at four and a fourth, and it was 11 in length, and I folded it a five and a half. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to lay that up there for a moment. So what we're going to do is we do not want to adhere this down. You want to use the smallest of the circles for this. Bring up my big shot. Okay. And my plate. And what you're going to do is... I'm hoping you can see this, because now I've got the plate in the way, the big shot. You're going to get it in center at about an inch and a quarter or so down from the top of your print section of your paper. And you want to hold it in place, just like I'm doing, and I'm trying to throw my plate with it too, the top plate. There it is. I have a little too many splice up here. Okay, so now you may not see me cut this, but you want it about inch and a fourth or so down from the top of your print, circle in the middle, and my paper is not straight. That works a lot easier when it's in the studio. Okay, there we go. Okay, so all I'm going to do is just cut the smallest circle out with both of these guys. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Okay, now I'll set this down for a second so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so now I have my circle cut out, but I am not going to adhere it yet. Okay, then I'm going to also take another piece of garden green and I'm going to take both of the circles, both of these circles, and lay one inside the other and make sure it does not shift because the, you're going to end up with your rim around that that you just did. Okay, so now... Okay, I feel like this is a little warped, guys. Okay, now, I'm simply cranking one inside the other. Where you place it on your garden green paper does not matter. Just as long as you've got it so you can get your ring. Okay, so now, here is your ring. And it will go on your card. right in here like this okay okay and we can go ahead and put this on this it won't hurt it so I'll do the glue with the Tombow your adhesive is your choice what you want to use okay now I'm going to take that and I'm going to simply put that inside here Okay, 
Then I'm going to lay this stuff aside for just a second. Now, I have brought out the stamp for... And I thought I brought out my... There it is. I brought out my piercing mat, which always helps it better to stamp better. And I brought out my Santa. So now what I'm going to do is two things. I'm going to stamp him. And normally he would be colored. But I'm not going to take the time to color him. And you can use your red markers, whatever you want. You can follow along what I've got on the card that will be posted on the blog site. And then you're going to simply punch him out. Okay. Like that. And then you're going to punch one more out. Okay, and that's it. Okay, now I'll lay those off to the side. I will need some white in a minute. Okay, then you will take your Baker's White Twine, and you will take a piece, and you will cut it to whatever length you think is going to work. You can always clip it. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and glue him the stamp part all the way around. Okay. And then I'm going to glue him together with the string sand sandwiched in the middle. Okay. Okay. Normally he would be colored. Here he is already colored. This one here is the one that I sandwiched. The first one I didn't. And I decided I like it better with a sandwiched. Now, you'll take your paper and you will, before you even put that designer paper on, you are going to glue it down. And I truthfully don't know if it's going to hold with me using this paper. I mean, using that... Uh, Combo. My, see it's not. I'm going to put the block on it hold it down a little bit. Okay. You want it so the feet are just hanging down. Okay. And I'm going to take and do Tombow all the way. I would normally use my snail adhesive, but my snail adhesive went empty just a minute ago and I thought I am not going to redo that right now okay so now what I've done is the string is right in between now so he's there and he's hanging now I've got him hanging a little longer than I would have liked but he is hanging down so what you want to try to do is get the string so it is just just be just above the uh, your circle opening. Again, let me show you this card. This is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose with a swing Santa. I think it's kind of cute. And do try out that Christmas cookie cutter set. Do keep an eye on my blog site. I've been doing different things, trying to get ideas done for Christmas. Also, check out my Facebook page, Stampin' Pink Rose. And also my Pinterest because I do add on there. And by the way, on Facebook, you'll often see something that isn't normally on my blog site. Again, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this card. This is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose. Take care.